It's hard to believe that even in 2018, less than 5% of our oceans have been explored, which makes you wonder what's still lying out there waiting for us to find. Every year we're discovering new and intriguing sea life, lost artifacts and treasures from years gone by. Let's take a dive and see what incredible discoveries have been made at sea. Number 20. A real figurehead. This intimidating figurehead is from the 15th century Danish warship Gribschunden, and it was brought to the surface in 2015. This impressive piece has been lying at the bottom of the ocean since the late 1400s, and used to once adorn the Danish warship. The ship used to belong to King John, but caught a light before sinking in 1495. It looks like a sea monster with the face of a dragon, ears of a lion, and the jaws of a crocodile, munching down on a human, and weighs 660 pounds. That's three. 100 kilos. Number 19. Not one, but two. We've all heard of the Great Barrier Reef. Now it seems there are two of them. The second Great Barrier Reef has been discovered hiding behind the first one, which is made up of limestone circles joined together to create the second reef. It stretches an impressive 2,300 square miles and is thought to be 10,000 years old. The reef has these donut-shaped structures which are believed to be the remains of algae. When algae are no longer living, it changes to a limestone flake. Over thousands of years, the algae have fused together to form these donut shaped structures that are as thick as 66 feet or 20 meters. Only a few divers have been down to this reef as it's extremely deep, but time will reveal a lot more information that we didn't know before. Number 18, going down under. The Apollo 11 engines were retrieved from the waters of Florida thanks to the efforts of Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, who funded the mission. These engines were the ones that launched Neil Armstrong and his team up into space in the Saturn V rocket in 1969. Number 17. Diving Deep The MS Zenobia was a Challenger-class RORO ferry that was launched in May 1980 and was headed for Syria from Sweden. On the vessel was tractor trailers and various other cargo. Steering problems were encountered between Athens and Cyprus due to too much ballast water being pumped in. They attempted to fix the problem, but while at harbour in Larnaca, Cyprus, the problem resurfaced. Engineers found a software glitch and they towed the ship out of the harbour so it wouldn't be in the way. Sadly, the ferry went down in Larnaca Bay along with all of its cargo. On a positive note, there were no casualties. Number 16. Bigger fish to fry. The Mariana Trench is still a mystery that we're slowly unraveling. It's the deepest part of the ocean where depths reach 36,000 feet, and it's at these depths that a new species of fish was discovered. Using mackerel baited traps, researchers collected 36 species of fish, including the Mariana snailfish, at depths of 26,200 feet. They're see through, have no scales, and live a pretty stress free life down there with plenty of food available. It's the deepest fish that has ever been found, and the pressure of the water down there has been described as an elephant standing on your thumb. Research still continues. Number 15. A life once lived. Under the waters of the Mediterranean Sea lies an ancient Neolithic village called Atlit Yam. It's located off the coast of Atlit, Israel, and has been carbon dated to roughly 8,900 and 8,300 years ago. It covers 10 acres, and divers have discovered houses and a well. It's been deduced that the occupants of this village left very suddenly, as the remains of loads of fish was found in storage ready for trade. It's thought a volcanic collapse could have triggered a tsunami, which might have led to the abandonment of Atlit Yam. Number 14. Disappear without a trace. It was 1921 when a Navy tugboat, the USS Conestoga, went missing under mysterious circumstances. She set sail from San Francisco heading to Chutuwila, American Samoa, on the 25th of March 1921, under the captainship of Lieutenant Ernest Larkin Jones. When it became known that the tugboat was missing, extensive searches were done to locate her, but all they found was an overturned lifeboat. It was decades before the mystery was finally solved, and in 2009, an unknown identified wreck was found in the sharp rocks of the Farallon Islands. It was only in 2016 when cameras could access the wreckage that they could finally confirm that it was the USS Conestoga. The reason for her sinking was deemed to be rough waters while trying to get her into a cove in the Farallons. Number 13. No longer a myth. The lost Mahabalipuram pagodas were long considered a myth. Mahabalipuram is a world heritage site located in India and is home to beautiful cave temples, Pallava era art and 8th century architecture. The myth stated that the area was much larger than what was visible and that there were seven pagodas. Even into the 18th and early 19th centuries there were reports of people saying they could spot the glittering copper tops and that's all the information people had. When the 2005 tsunami hit India, an ancient city was revealed, all believed to be part of the lost Mahabalipuram pagodas. 
Number 12. Man vs Nature The debate is still open about the Yonaguni Monument, which remains a mystery. Just off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan, divers found this bizarre rock formation. It's been more than 20 years since its discovery, and we're no closer to identifying it. Many believe it's just a natural rock formation, others blame the aliens, and then there are some that firmly believe it's man-made. Some researchers say they've come across animals and faces drawn into the rocks, but there's no evidence of that. It's much more fun to speculate anyway. Number 11. Hole in one. Manganese nodules have been discovered deep down on the ocean floor, and these nodules contain manganese, nickel, cobalt, and copper. They're found in many countries and range in size, anything from the size of an apple to the head of a cabbage. Many countries have thought about mining these nodules, but to date, none of those plans have come to fruition. Number 10. Lost and Found Just off the coast of Uluburan in Turkey, a local sponge diver, Mermd Chaki, discovered the Uluburan shipwreck. This late Bronze Age shipwreck was 3,300 years old, and over four months, the most incredible imagery was taken of this old beauty. The ship was filled with mainly trade items, but many beautiful artifacts were also discovered, including the golden seal of Egyptian queen Nefertiti. Number 9. Sea meets River This is a naturally occurring discovery that divers discovered in the Black Sea, an underwater river. It sounds hard to comprehend, but it's true. It even has trees down there. The river water has a higher saline content than the seawater surrounding it. And yes, there's everything you would expect from a regular river, including trees, rapids, and waterfalls. The river is thought to be roughly 35 miles deep. Number 8. X marks the spot. This shipwreck is considered the holy grail of shipwrecks and is the Spanish galleon San Jose. This ship was full of silver, gold and emeralds which would have been worth billions today. In fact, it's been valued at 17 billion dollars, only a little bit more than my weekly paycheck. It sunk shortly after battle with British ships close to Colombia and was only discovered in 2015, 300 years later. Details about this find were only divulged in May 2018. An underwater vehicle called the Remus 6 thousand helped to earmark the distinctive cannons allowing them to identify the ship. The location of the ship is not being disclosed, so anyone hoping to dive for some treasure will be sorely disappointed. Number 7. Making Waves Sound waves, that is. This has been dubbed the mysterious Julia sound and was recorded in 1999. It's an eerie sound that was picked up by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recording equipment from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. The spooky noise only lasted 15 seconds and sounds like whining or cooing. You might interpret it differently. The cause of the noise hasn't been confirmed, but is thought to be icebergs scraping against the ocean floor. Number 6. Gold Rush It was 1857 when the SS Central America sunk just off the coast of South Carolina, thanks to a hurricane that battered the coast. On board the ship was a huge amount of Gold Rush gold. Fast forward to 1988, when treasure hunter Tommy Thompson discovered the wreck. He disappeared quickly after that, until authorities located him in 2015. Much of his $50 million haul is at MIA. Divers went down to the wreck again in 2014, and retrieved 40 million gold bars and coins, and it's believed there is more below the surface. Number 5. Unhappy Travels If you find yourself in the Swedish capital of Stockholm, please visit the Vasa Museum to observe one of the most well-preserved recovered shipwrecks of the 17th century. The Vasa was one of the most powerful and well-armed vessels in the world when completed in 1628, but sank after sailing for less than a nautical mile on her maiden voyage. There was no severe weather that day, but it's believed the disaster was caused partly due to negligence and partly due to being built way too top-heavy. Naturally, all the valuable items such as bronze can and so on were salvaged almost immediately, and an attempt was made to salvage the complete vessel as it was in shallow water. However, the mud that it was deeply nestled in prevented salvage that day, but contributed to the preservation of the hull. She was successfully raised in 1961. Number 4. City Under the Sea Evidence of lost civilizations under the sea is nothing new really, but this one got the marine archaeologists' tongues wagging. Scientists describe a vast city that was discovered in the Cambay Gulf off India in 2002. It's not merely the size that piqued interest, but the age. Evidence suggests the civilization could be up to 10,000 years old, which was before the region was thought to have supported any human habitation. Some of the relics that have been uncovered include pottery, beads, sculptures, portions of walls, and even the remains of humans. 
Number three, message in a bottle. And no, we're not trying to be witty. This was literally a message in a bottle that was discovered in Germany that was over 100 years old. It was tossed into the ocean in 1913 and was recovered 101 years later. It was reported that it was the oldest message in a bottle ever found. However, that's not the case. The oldest message was found in British Columbia, which was tossed into the sea in 1906. It was found by Steve Thurber. And the strange thing is, Thurber doesn't want to open the bottle. So its age will not be made official and the Guinness Book of World Records will probably give the title to this bottle discovered by the German fisherman. Number two, TikTok. This is one of the most well-known discoveries made at sea, and there's still no concrete explanation for what it actually is, although there are some pretty decent guesses. It's called the Antikythera Mechanism, and it was discovered in 1901 by scientists who were investigating a shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera. They found a wooden box which housed this strange mechanism. The Antikythera Mechanism is believed to have been used like an analogue computer to predict eclipses and the position of the stars. Number 1. Jagged Little Pill A 2,000-year-old medicinal pill was discovered by Italian scientists when they were searching a submerged shipping vessel off the coast of Tuscany. The tins that were housing the pills were still completely sealed, meaning the pills were bone dry. The researchers believe the pills were used for eye alignments after figuring out what the pills were made from. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos.